I can't stand. You ever been mistaken for working in the shop? You know, you'd be standing in the shop, somebody would walk up to you and go, Excuse me, do you work here? Fuck off. <laughs> you know, and they give you that look like you should be. Oh. You know what we should say? Yeah, I do actually, no, fuck off, you're barred. <laughs> and what is the point in shop staff wearing name badges? It only freaks them out when you say their name. You go, ah, thanks very much, uh, Alison. How do you know my name? <laughs> Blimey, she's just watched me in my underpants, trying on jeans, and suddenly I'm the stalker. Can't stand clothes shopping. I can't stand. Can't stand it. So I don't do it anymore. 24 years of marriage. My wife has started to buy me clothes. It's freaking me out. She keeps going on about Richard Gear. I love Richard Gear. Love Richard Gear. And then she goes out and buys me twat gear. <laughs> Why is she dressing me up after 24 years? What? I can't dress myself. You know, when I first met her, I didn't skip up to her in a pair of Thomas the Tank pants. You know. <laughs> Do you want to go up to Matalan? Cos I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Cos women love a clothes shop. Oh, they love them. You'll be walking up the ice street with your wife, you know? If there's a clothes shop, they're drawn. They'd be drawn to it. They'd go like, oh, oh, what's happening? <laughs> I'm being drawn into this shop. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> if you said to your wife, I want you to run through that ice street, she'd go, OK, OK. Just dying to get in there and feel up the cloth. <laughs> women's clothes shops, I can't stand them. They mystify me, women's clothes shops. Your wife can have a whole conversation with the women that work in those clothes shops using only one word. They say stuff to each other like, well, it's not for going out, out. It's sort of out, 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 out. <laughs> women know what the fuck this means. They say stuff to each other in those clothes shops. They go out, like, well, it's not for smart, smart. <laughs> it's sort of smart, 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 smart. <laughs> I'm like, love, can we off off? Not off off, but fuck off. <laughs> well, what does it mean? <laughs> and out comes, as soon as your wife is with a bunch of other women that work in those shops, suddenly you become the spare knob. <laughs> you know, they've got that special chair for you to sit on the bewilderment chair. You, there. <laughs> Then everyone starts talking to you as if you're an outpatient on day release, you know, to the shops. What do you think? Oh, he don't fucking know. Look at him. <laughs> I don't know nothing, man. He don't, look at him. He don't, you don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> guess, what, guess what I don't know? <laughs> nothing. You know, you come out of the shop, you say to your wife, oh, yeah, that looks nice. I went in wearing this, twat. <laughs> well, I don't know nothing, mate. <laughs> and my wife now, she buys perfume. Do you know what they do now? They spread it on a piece of car for you to smell. Why, 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 why? She don't go to the big cardboard box on her fucking head. <laughs> she don't go out clubbing or done up like a parcel. You smell nice. Thank you very much. I love that. You know when blokes are going out on a Friday or a Saturday, they, they always do that thing with the deodorant? They always do the cause you never know shot. Just before they go out the door, they go tss, 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 tss. Cause you never know. <laughs> never do that of aftershave, do you? Well you do once. You don't fucking do it again, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Joe <laughs> You know, you're up on the sink, you've got your bollocks in the walk. If that don't work, you're in the fridge, fucking trifle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 